Hey, Riley the Roof is back. And I'm driving to a job right now. It's a repair we're doing. Apparently, the guy had no ice and snow shield. And the flasher wasn't installed right. And what happened was, every time you had ice and snow up there, it leaked. So we're here to fix the problem. This, where was the leak now? Uh, well, it came from up there. All right. And as you can see, it's right on the ceiling. Right, and this is right underneath that apron outside. Yeah, and all, the water just dripped right down this wall. Was it with the snow and ice or the rain, too? Yeah, no, actually, not with the rain. When the snow and ice. It to melt, right. It just, it just came. All right, right you know what? Okay, as you can see, we pulled off the siding, and we stripped the roof on this apron here. And the reason is, is the flashing was improperly installed. And when they had ice and snow sitting up here, it got right under the flashing. They only overlapped the flashing like a quarter inch. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to repair this the right way. Okay, before we put the ice shield on, we put the metal drip edge on the gutter line. That'll go right across the complete length of the gutter. And then the next step will be the ice shield. Okay, right now my son's just cleaning everything out. He's cutting the felt back. Just getting ready to put the ice shield on. And then after that we'll get into the flashing. Okay, my son is putting the ice shield on now. This stuff comes 36 inches wide, 3 feet. You peel the back of it. And then it sticks right to the sheathing. Now you're going to watch that ice shield. When you hit the wall, you want to get it up the wall. So you go right up the wall with that and that'll make a perfect seal even without the step flashing it'll keep the water from getting in okay all the ice shield is on and now my son is putting on the undercourse that's the first shingle that goes upside down so this way when you put the new shingles on at the seams every three feet you got something underneath there and there won't be no leaks Okay, my son is getting ready to put the step flashing in. We'll show you a couple of pieces, how it's done. You cut the shingles to the wall, you leave a little space for the metal. And you're going to slide it underneath one shingle right there, okay? Now the next piece slides on the other shingle, and it'll actually overlap that metal by a few inches now. See, that was the problem. The last time it was done, they only overlapped a quarter inch. And when the ice melted, it backed up underneath step flash. So you slide these up on each shingle and then you tack them to the wall and then you'll be ready to put the siding back. Here he is now tacking the flashing in. You could use a staple hammer or nails either one, it doesn't matter. Okay, now my son's going to take the fell paper and he's going to slide it underneath the paper on the wall and over the flashing. Because vinyl siding is not watertight. So this is going to make it watertight if any water gets behind the siding. Right there. He's slipping it underneath the existing felt paper. All right, he's just pulling out a couple of staples. That means he's taking his time and doing it right. So he can get that paper underneath the old paper. And then he brings it right down over the flashing. Okay, now we tack it in there, and voila, that's watertight right now. It's over the flashing and underneath the old existing felt paper. And now we got to do that on the whole perimeter, all the way around. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, now all the shingles are done. And you can see we felt it underneath the old felt and over the flashing. So now it's time to put the siding back. Okay, we're standing over here with Jeff Riker, okay, like Riker's Island, but he hasn't been there. He's a good guy. We're doing work at his house here, fixing the apron that was caused by the ice and snow because it didn't have ice shield. Jeff, are you happy with the workmanship? Very happy. Everybody showed up on time? Early and on time, yes. Would you recommend us? Definitely. You're on the team then, right? You got, <laughs> yes, he's got the shirt. Thanks a lot, Jeff. You're welcome. Okay. Now my son's just putting on that leader pipe that was there before, bringing it down to the other gunner, and we're out of here. Peace out, everybody. Hey, my little roof is back.